I set myself out with an interesting challenge. I wanted to see if I could learn a dance that I saw on TikTok in exactly one hour. For those of you who know me, I am not a dancer. I don't have a dance background. I'm not exactly coordinated with my body, legs, arms, or general sense of self, but I wanted to see if I could do it. Lots of people dance. Why can't I? I saw this tutorial by the name of someone in the <laughs> I saw this tutorial by someone by the name of Sammy Steads on TikTok. There was a little footwork tutorial. It seemed manageable, it seemed tough, but it looked cool and I wanna look cool. So I thought I could try this. It was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I spent the first like five minutes just watching, just looking at the feet, just trying to understand what the hell was happening with those tootsies and just trying to mimic it as best I could. And I didn't get it. But eventually I started to break down the movements because everything was clear and concise. So all I had to do was replicate it. Eventually my legs would get a brain of their own and they would figure it out. I just had to build to it. So about five minutes in, I started working with a metronome. I started doing it at 60 BPM. If I could do it that slow, then I could slowly build it up every 10 BPM to get to the point where I was actually to the tempo of the song. So I started 60. Nailed it, perfect in every way. I'm the best, feeling great. 70, doing fine, everything's going according to plan. I get to about 80 or so and I start to sweat. I'm not foreign to physical activity, but I did not realize how intense dancing was going to be. Apparently if you flail your body around enough, you start to sweat. So every so often I would take a break, drink some water, I would look at the tutorial again, make sure I was still on it, make sure I was still in it, make sure I wasn't creating some stupid movement or my brain was farting out my ass, just I wanted to make sure that I actually got it. 90, 100, 110, 120. 120 is actually an interesting one because that is the tempo of the song, but it is exactly half the speed of the movement because the movement is every eighth note. So that was an important one. I kind of hang on that one a bit. And once I start to get the speed of it, I start jumping up more and more and more, eventually climbing 140, 150, 160, 180. I got up to 200 beats per minute. Now this is way faster than most songs are, but it's getting close to the actual footwork. And once I got to this point, I was starting to get real sweaty, starting to get real tired. I was hitting about 30 minutes in the challenge, but I felt like I could manage it. And then I realized something. I realized that I was an idiot. I was doing it wrong. Because I, I was looking at the tutorial as being a breakdown of the exact movements on the exact beats, but I had been practicing it wrong because in between the first few crisscrosses, there's no extra beat and there. It's cross, stand, cross, right into pigeon toe. I knew it from the very beginning. Once I realized my grievous error, and once I got another glass, glass of water, water, I started to get down to the nitty gritty because I realized I had it, basically. The moves were in muscle memory after 45 minutes of trying, and all that was left was just repetition, doing it over and over and over again until I got it right. Boom, over, over, over and over again. Again, one more time, keep going. And it was funny because the best ones I did were not towards the end. Because towards the end, I was getting tired. I was running my Apple Watch, I showed it to the screen a couple times, my heart rate was getting up to like 140, 150. That's not like the max, max it could go, but just for trying to dance, that's a lot of work. It was intense work. You can see towards the end, my shirt is just getting soaked with sweat. I had my air conditioner blasting max. I was still overheating and I'm a sweaty man. I'm, I get sweaty like nobody's business, but this was just, this was hard. But I did get one glorious, beautiful, maybe not beautiful, one glorious for me attempt.
And then I did it. You know, it's weird. After I didn't even realize I did it because I didn't know what I looked like until I saw the footage afterwards. So I had in my mind, because I didn't feel like I was doing it very well. But at that point, I just stuck to the rhythm and I stuck to the repetition that I thought, okay, I'm just going to go to the end of the timer. And you can see that when I get to the end of the timer, I'm just like, all right, screw it. I'm out. Okay, good. I did it. Finally, challenge over. I'm going to go rest. That's it. So I didn't even celebrate because I didn't know that I did it at all. I had no idea what I looked like. Like I have my camera up and I can see it, but when I was doing it, I couldn't look at myself in there because it would throw me off. So I just had to kind of like dead eye forward, just kind of like death stare into the abyss, like just trying to concentrate so hard. I, I don't look elegant in any way. I want to say that very clear. I don't look elegant. My hands are doing a weird flaily kicky thing, but I did it in an hour. I am not a dancer. I'm moderately physically inclined, but I am not a dancer. And I did it pretty well. Not perfect, definitely not perfect. I'm not saying I did it perfect because there's dancers that make that shit look easy. And for some dancers, that shit is easy, but I did it and I'm pretty proud of myself. So I set myself a challenge. I met the challenge, or at least I completed it, and I'm pretty happy with the results. I really have nothing else to say besides that. I, I wanted to see if I could do something, and then I executed on the plan. And to be perfectly honest, I feel great about it. It's something that I would never ordinarily do, but because I saw it, and I thought to myself, maybe I could do that myself, I now have pushed myself in the direction of a skill that I have never, ever tried. And I think that's pretty cool. So if you want to see the, the dance in question, I'll link Sammy Stead's TikTok down below. My own TikTok is down there. I've started posting videos there for March is Honest and various other crap that I find. Uh, if you want to follow me there, toss me a follow. And just thanks for watching. And if you ever find something that you want to do as a challenge to yourself, don't limit yourself. Go for it. You might be surprised with what you can do. So anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.